this is Chernobyl reactor number 4 and right next to it is the new safe confinement or NSC that will cover the sarcophagus. Here is a part of the cooling supply for reactors 5 and 6 which you can just see over there on the other side and uh, well we had a good look at the NSC from the rooftops already as you could see in my previous video here's the NSC on the left and the reactor on the right with the crane that will disassemble the chimney and this is a drive-by view of Chernobyl reactor number four and finally the new safe confinement just next to it we're just gonna do a nice drive-by and uh, and look at it from the other side as well. Okay, never mind that drive-by. So, here's reactor number four from the typical tourist viewpoint. And you can hear the work going on there. You can hear all the hammering as they are constructing the new safe confinement. The latest lifting operation only just took place just a couple of days before we arrived. So you can pretty much make out the arc-like structure of the new safe confinement already. Surprisingly, they also have a webcam where you can overlook the current progress in building the NSC. The link is just uh, in the video description. And you can see the uh, equivalent dose rate is just 6 microsievert per hour on the Gamma Scout there. Well, in front of the reactor it's 12 microsievert per hour. But if you take a look at the energy compensated automass, which I'm holding in my left hand there, you can see it's just uh, about 3 to 4 microsievert per hour. Well, the Gamma Scout shows 12, and uh, I trust the outer mass for being energy compensated, so it's not too bad at all. Of course, you want to keep the exposure low to somebody who works there every single day, but still, at about uh, 4 microsievert per hour, uh, with a full schedule of work, 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, you would only reach about half of what is the maximum permissible limit for working with a radioactive material in Germany. Um, so, I think these doses are not too bad at all. So I hope this video was of interest to you and uh, thanks for watching as usual.